Hey friends! So welcome back to another project video. Today I'm going to be taking these little mini canvases and turning them into refrigerator magnets. These are the 2x2 two two size but I will be using the 3x3s three so if you want to see how they turned out keep watching. Here's a quick list of all the materials I'm using. I have links in the description. So I've already printed off all my images using my sublimation printer and I have the Cricut cutting them right now. I've also taken a thermal laminating pouch and ripped it in half and now I'm just cutting them down to size. I'm making them 3 inches wide by 3 inches tall so that they will cover the entire canvas surface. Now my canvases have the hollow backs so I'm going to be using this Elmer's foam board to fill in that hollow space. So I got a quick measurement of it using my fabric measuring tape. I took the foam board and put it on my Cricut mat so it wouldn't move when I was trying to cut it. To get a straight line, I used my T-square and lined it up with the 2 inch mark on the Cricut mat. I needed them to be 2 inches wide by 2 inches tall so that they would fit in the inside of that hollow space of my canvas. So once I got those cut down to 2x2, two two, I went ahead and started stuffing them in the back of my canvases. Now to fill up the space entirely, I needed to use two of them, but that's okay. It helped a lot having that space filled up when using the heat press on them. So my heat press is still warming up. It's about 380 degrees, which is perfect for pressing the laminating pouches. So I went ahead and put my little pieces on top of my canvases. So the matte side was against the canvas and the glossy side was facing up. I press it for about 10 seconds and then use my squeegee to work out any air bubbles. Once I was done with that, I went ahead and just taped down my images to the canvases. Once I got them taped down super good, I went ahead and pressed those at 400 degrees for 45 seconds. Now they didn't come through all the way the first go around, so I did end up doing a little musical chairs with the canvases to kind of rotate them around. And I pressed them for an additional 10 seconds just to give it a little extra. I did not wait for them to cool down and I went ahead and peeled off my sublimation paper. I wanted these magnets to sit flush up against the fridge so I took my magnet and traced around it on that foam board and went ahead and cut that circle out of that top foam piece. I did end up having to take it out so that I could get the cut to go all the way through but once I had it cut all the way through, I just popped that little circle piece out and used my rubber cement to glue it into the canvas. I put a pretty thick layer down on that bottom piece of foam board as well as up against those wood sides. I pressed it down for about 30 seconds and then just let it sit for a couple hours. Then I went ahead and took my rubber cement again and filled in that hole really well and pressed in the magnet. Now those I let sit overnight before I did anything with them and here's the magnet test. You can see the first one fell. So back to the craft room. I decided just to add another magnet in one of the corners. So I just took my little razor knife and cut around the magnet shape. But because that foam board was already glued down, I just had to work out as much of it as I could. Took my rubber cement again, filled up the hole, and pressed in my magnet. Now, I let that second magnet sit overnight as well, just to make sure it was in there good. And here it is. They sit flush with my dry erase board, and they stick. So, I hope you enjoyed the video.